The next step is going to be actually setting up an Apple ID. And Apple ID is very important when you are using your iPad and you are going to use it quite a bit. You're going to use it to download any free apps or any paid apps. Any apps that the school has purchased for you, you will also need um, your Apple ID. And also, if something happens to your iPad and let's say you need to get another iPad, we will be able to have all of that information move to your new iPad because it has been synced to your iCloud account through your Apple ID. So if you do not have iTunes, go ahead and we are going to download iTunes. So you're going to hit download now. Um, and I already have it, so I don't need to download it. And if you already have it on your computer, you certainly do not need to download it either. But just in case you don't, go ahead and hit download. Now I'm going to pop over. Now I'm going to pop over into my iTunes. And what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to search is iBooks. This is very important. You have to make sure that you do this step. So we're going to go ahead and hit that we want to download iBooks for the iPad or the iPhone. It does not matter because we're actually not downloading it. We're just tricking um, Apple. So right now I am going to do create Apple ID. And there's a little welcome screen. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to say, I have read all of this wonderful literature and I agree to it. And now I'm going to type in the email of my personal email that I just set up. So the Gmail or the Yahoo or your Hotmail, whatever you just set up, that's what you're going to do. Now, remember, Apple is a little bit picky about passwords. So I made my password for my Google longer than I needed to just so I could have matching passwords for my Apple ID. So it has to be eight characters, include a number, an uppercase letter, and a lowercase letter. Okay. And then you're going to fill out your security information. And the reason you're going to fill out the security information is if you need your password reset, then you will be able to just fill out these questions and it will resend you your password or send you a password um, or a request to change your password. Okay, I'm not going to put in an optional rescue email. For your birthday, if you are 12 years old, if you are not yet 13, your parents are going to be setting this up for you. And that is because Apple makes you be, uh, you have to be at least 13 years old or older in order to have a Apple account. And that's because it can be hooked to banking information and things like this. So parents, what I suggest is you either use a family iTunes account, Apple ID, or you set up an Apple ID for the student that you will always have access to and to be able to check. And of course, I'm going to uncheck these because my email does not need to be any more full than it is. Hit continue. This is the important part. This is why we why we typed in iBooks, okay? We're going to put none for our payment type. Nothing. We are not going to put in a payment type. Parents, if you think about that, you don't want your visa being charged hundreds of dollars because your student might have found an app or a game that they like to play. So this is part of, you know, being digitally responsible and having digital citizenship. Uh, so we're going to put in none. And you are still going to have to put in your address. And I'm just making a phone number here to put in. <clears throat> so it's saying that it's not going to share information with anybody. I'm going to hit create Apple ID. Make sure I have none checked there. 
And now it's saying, okay, great, you did it. Now verify that your email is actually an email that you created, which is why we created our Gmail first. So I am going to go to Gmail. Apple verification just popped in. And if yours does not pop in, just go and go ahead and push the button that says um, resend. And it will pop right in. So I'm just going to click on it. It's going to say, okay, you entered this email. We're just confirming that that's correct. I'm going to hit verify now. And now to verify, I just need to sign in one more time. And now I'm verified. So now I am ready to go download some free apps with my iPad.